This is a Lego piece worth $15,000. And this is a Lego alien that went to space valued at over $20,000. So in this video, we'll be looking at extremely expensive Lego pieces that honestly shouldn't exist. Starting with this Theoden minifigure, which sells on eBay for over $100. But before you could call this just some regular minifigure, know that once you remove all of his clothes, he's only worth $30, making his armor alone worth a literal fortune. But that's nothing compared to this Lego Porg. Wait, no. I meant this Lego Porg, which came along with this $800 Millennium Falcon, which takes around 25 hours straight to build. But regardless of the Millennium Falcon's huge size, these Porgs were the true VIPs here, being worth around $99 for the pair and for no apparent reason, as people would literally buy these for insane prices. Which, speaking of insane prices, brings us to this regular-looking minifigure. <coughs> $2,000 regular-looking minifigure. This figure is part of the Cloud City Lego set, which was released as an exclusive in 2003 and is now worth an ungodly amount. Being more expensive than my grandma's new car with almost every single Lego minifigure in it being insanely expensive. But the craziest thing about this basic looking Boba Fett minifigure is that the only reason it's worth thousands is because of these designs on its arms and legs, making just one of his arms literally sell for $220. Bro, that's the price of a 3,000 piece Lego set. Thankfully, this next Lego piece is more reasonable, as it's not a Lego piece, it's a Lego Comic Con ticket. These tickets were used to cash in Lego prizes you could win at one of the raffles at Comic Con. This ticket is worth $600, no comment. Next, this dumb looking Yoda Lego minifigure came as a promotional with this X-Wing fighter jet if you bought it at Times Square Toys R Us in 2013. And while it looks super basic and even has this weird white hair piece going on, it is by no means cheap as this figure is selling for $10,000 online. And just for this dumb shirt piece, I hate my life. If you've ever wanted a Lego pizza, be aware, your wallet just might die of a heart attack because this Lego pizza, which is so rare, I could only find a few images of, is worth a whopping $2,500 sealed, which is a lot more than real pizza is worth, guys, so please do not buy this. Lego bombs have been a thing that really just shouldn't exist, but seeing this red Lego bomb just might change your mind, because not only is it a bomb, but it is also red, and it's also $6,000. Okay, please don't tell me that's the real price. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Anyways, this bomb is kind of rare, and I guess it's probably worth nowhere near $6,000, but the only one I could find online was listed at that, making it a stupidly overpriced piece. Next, you've probably seen these Lego minifigure packs at your local Target, but while most of them gave you a plain Lego minifigure, if you got super lucky, you could find a gold miniature labeled Mr. Gold. Now that's a nice name. But anyways, if you ever found this figure, make sure to hide it from your parents, as it'll probably be worth enough to buy you six large Millennium Falcons or four mid-priced gaming PCs, as this figure is worth around $6,000 if you manage to find one of these bad boys. Now, this one is sort of a myth, but LEGO is said to have teamed up with NASA to send three gray LEGO minifigures of Roman gods Jupiter, Juno, and their astronomer's friend Galileo to space as a way to get LEGO more popular. And it must have worked, because now almost everyone's kid I see just loves playing with LEGOs. And those minifigures now are worth a huge amount, but each of them is probably worth a few hundred thousand by now. Thankfully, you could buy a less expensive version with this alien figurine that got flown to space as a part of the Life on Mars promotion. But there's only around three 300 of these out there, making them worth over $10,000 per piece. Dude, can I at least afford one of these? Comic-Con Lego minifigures are some of the most valuable Lego exclusives on the planet, being only four to five pieces of Lego, but fetching prices of thousands of dollars. But out of every year Comic-Con Lego minifigures, the 2013 set was far more expensive, with the Green Arrow costing $4,000, the Black Superman $4,250, the Spider-Woman $7,000, and the Spider-Man? Don't even tell me, bro. This gold LEGO C-3PO was a top prize of a competition that asked you to find the hidden C-3PO image on one of these pages. Yeah, I haven't found it yet either. If you found this C-3PO on one of these pages, you had the chance to win a solid gold LEGO minifigure. No, not that one. But yeah, LEGO gave away five of these solid gold minifigures, and the last one ended up selling for over $65,000, making these LEGOs a lot more valuable than just gold, and about as valuable as a large truck. Even more cursed than a truck truck Lego fig though is a literal gold brick. Please tell me you're joking at this point. This Lego brick is literally just a Lego brick made out of gold just for the sake of it. Being one of the only 10 Lego bricks that are said to exist, making it worth around $15,000, with a listing on eBay selling it for $13,500 right now. It also weighs a lot more than the average Lego because of its mass in solid gold, but either way, $15,000 for a single Lego piece is not funny. It's hilarious. This is a red Darth Vader 
Gator helmet, which is a red variant of the regular black piece everyone knows. But what's interesting about this piece is that it's not just a dumb Lego piece. It's a $500 dumb Lego piece. And it's not the only one out there with multiple pricey red Lego variants being out in the open all priced stupidly high. If you've ever opened a Lego set, you know all you get are the manuals and the Lego bags. But in 2009, Star Wars created exclusive minifigures for their 30th anniversary and packed them into various Star Wars Lego sets you could buy so that if you found one in a set, you'd automatically become rich. These minifigures were painted in chrome, meaning their colors would be five times shinier than the average minifigure and a lot more expensive too, because the chrome Stormtrooper is worth $100, with the Darth Vader being worth $500, and the Holy Grail, the chrome gold C-3PO, which isn't actually real gold, being really worth $1,500, making this trio a super expensive bundle that you could have found for free back in the day. This is a wooden Lego minifigure made for the Lego Ninjago movie, which is based off the TV show Ninjago. And while Ninjago minifigures are cool and all, this wooden Lego minifigure is worth $200,000, being probably one of the most expensive Lego items of all time. This is Lester. And while being just a dumb $20 figure in a poly bag, there's the same exact version worth $2,500 that comes in this weird kind of plastic thing. But since they're like literally the same exact Lego minifigure, that makes the box itself worth way more than the minifigure. In fact, it's worth like $2,000, which is, ah! Hey guys, I just bought all these Lego minifigures, and let me just say, I'm homeless. <laughs>